Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com This is um, Let Me Bore You to Sleep When I started these sessions I didn't realise famous I was going to become <laughs> no, I'm joking um, I didn't when I started these I didn't know that I was going to be doing them so regularly uh, uh, oh, <clears throat> I've ended up doing them nearly every day So, yeah, that was it, that was the whole sentence, there wasn't anything more to add really to that, I just, the back of my neck is hurting today, last night I had, it felt like a, like a neck, I pulled something, pulled a muscle or something in my neck, but it's not just the neck, it's right at the back, and it's going all the way up <laughs> into my head. Oh, it might just be my spine, nothing serious, I'm just, just my spine. So I went to bed at about half two. now yeah so I got a bit of sleep got a, yeah. I can't be bothered isn't it really bad when I can't be bothered to be boring <laughs> maybe I'll be excited instead Right, so these sessions only watch or listen to this when you can safely close your eyes, and these are basically me just talking. you the space to relax and maybe drift off into a nice calm sleep the thing is I had a a comment on my YouTube channel, uh, which is Jason Newland's Sleep Hypnosis. That's the, the name of the YouTube channel. So I post these sessions, I turn them into videos, and I post them onto that channel. I had somebody say that they, it was uh, something called Beanie Town Vlogs, uh, or I know her as Boston Chicky. And or Bean Town vlogs, something like that. Anyway, she said that uh, she found these sessions good for reducing anxiety. So that was nice to hear because. Well, it's nice. Yeah, it was nice. But, yeah. I was hoping to increase people's anxiety, but I seem to have failed. <laughs> Not 
not really, not really. I mean, the thing is, it all kind of fits together. You know, things like, you know, anxiety, stress, insomnia, chronic pain, all those kind of things. There's a massive connection. So, if you kind of tackle one of them, then all of them are affected. I always remember when I was in the Sea Cadets, I won't hopefully always remember because I'm quite happy for those memories to leave me because they're not very particularly interesting. But um, at the moment, I still remember mild, mildly. I don't. I say I remember, I don't have clear, definitive uh, high definition memory of really anything that happened when I was in the Sea Cadets. And I was in there for a couple of years. Oh, I'll tell you something, yeah. In the Sea Cadets, there's um, you know, there's rankings, there's uh, like you know, like in the Navy, you get stripes on your on your shoulder and things like that. Um, Anyway, in the Sea Cadets, it's the point of the Sea Cadets is a it's a precursor to joining the Navy. For those that want to join the Navy, when they're kids, they can go in and learn about um, all, lots lots of the aspects to do with the Navy. So. I have forgotten exactly what I was going to say. Oh yeah, I'm going to tell you nothing. Oh, this. Oh, oh, this story. Wait, why didn't you hear this? This really is a ginger nut ginger nut and cup of tea story maybe digestives but you know maybe a special occasion sometimes it is nice isn't it just to do something a little bit different like you know you might have a regular a regular routine which is you know, not to be scoffed at. Some people think a routine is boring. And you know what? It probably is, but the thing is, a routine is quite healthy. If you think about it, the most problematic people people, uh, I don't mean necessarily problematic to others, but they can be, uh, the most, the people that have the hardest time in society are the main, most chaotic, and chaos doesn't like routine. <coughs> oh, a little cough there, that's nice. So by injecting it's a nice little connection there, isn't it? Injecting and chaos. Hmm, I wonder what the connection there is. So injecting a little bit of uh, routine, introducing rather some routine. 
into a chaotic lifestyle starts to change things just like introducing routine into a chaotic mind or a mind that seems a little bit for me it sounds, sometimes feels like the mind has a kind of a demonstration like a public demonstration you know sometimes it feels like the mind just goes on strike my mind goes on strike and then picketing outside the factory and maybe I should be listening and looking at the the picket boards that they're holding up saying you know too much stress got too much stress too much worrying too much thinking so maybe I have pushed my brain too much on my mind too much to do too many things to think too much to analyse too much to worry be scared too much you know because it takes a lot to be scared it takes a lot of energy especially you know to be able to be scared about everything because that's not only is that person maybe scared about everything they're also one of the most creative people is to be able to come up with situation after situation in your mind examples of something going wrong to be able to just you know create endless events that haven't even happened that might happen that probably won't ever happen that's a skill that's a really amazing skill it's kind of a wasted skill I mean that would be that would be like Whitney Houston of only ever singing when she was on the toilet a wasted skill you imagine Whitney Houston never never have gone in public and sung but she only sung when she was in a toilet or in the shower what a waste of a talent Well, maybe not a waste because she's enjoying herself. And maybe the... I was going to say maybe the neighbours are enjoying it, but maybe the neighbours aren't. Maybe they're thinking... Banging on the wall, saying, Whitney, stop singing. Who do you think you are, Mariah Carey? So... So I was in the Sea Cadets. Oh, the mind. Pickets outside. I sometimes feel that that's what's happening in my brain. Other times, I feel.
feel like there's a demonstration, like a big street demonstration. Like there are in London and, you know, New York and big, big cities. Thousands of people walking down. You know what I always find? I don't always, I say that as a sentence, but I don't mean it. I always find, I don't always anything. I always breathe, generally, even though I don't always breathe. When I sleep, sometimes I stop breathing, quite regularly, I think. But you know, I've noticed that people, sometimes I watch on the news and there's this um, demonstration And this is people, they're demonstrating about something that's very, very serious. And they've got placards, you know, big boards with, is placards the right word? Placades. But, you know, big pieces of cardboard or board with writing on it. Um, And there's thousands of those. and I'm not sure if they need that many. Only really need one at the at the front, don't they? Like a big one at the front, so people can see. Maybe one at the back, you know, so people can know what's 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 about. Don't need one all the way through. You know, if you go into a a shop. Like I know McDonald's, the McDonald's sign is at the front, isn't it, on the shop, right at the, you know, above the entrance. You don't walk in and see a thousand other little signs. I was hoping for a better example than that. I think maybe the reason my neck is hurting is because of the way I'm sitting here. I want to feel better if I lie down. Oh, let me see. Oh! No, not at all. probably less comfortable if if anything I've never felt so angry (laughs) Uh. that's why I don't like to lie down when I do these because I do now feel like going to sleep. So when I was in the secret it's and I really I wish I'd think more before I go back to various things that maybe I was talking about previously because I've gone back to the sea cadets like you know talking about it I've really forgotten what my point was so I'm now trying to distract you a bit why I try and remember what it was I was going to say and I'm wondering telling you that I'm trying to distract you 
thinking it may be the it might not work as well hmm oh by the way I did uh, I've been working on my website and stuff oh I've got a new YouTube channel for chronic pain it's Chasing Newlands Chronic Pain Hypnosis or something like that Chronic Pain Relief Hypnosis anyway I finished sorting that channel out and uh, um, oh yeah I was working on my website the main website jasonnewland.com and I want to sit up again Nick actually hurts. I don't know why. Maybe it needs chopping off. So I was in the Sea Cadets. No, it's still gone. So I, I'm working on my website. I've added a testimonial page to the site and I used to have that before a couple of times but I have to pay for it it costs me money every month to have that on there so that people can submit their own testimonials so if you if you do like what I do if you value this hugely skillful Magnificent specimen of a, I don't know, whatever. If you like what I do, then you know, please go to my website, click on the testimonial page, which is at the top of the, of the screen, and just add, add your own testimonial. Maybe just say something nice. Well, ideally, say something nice. If you say something horrible, then I'm just going to delete it. You know, in the same way as if you you give me a roast dinner and then just spread peanut butter all over the top of it. I'm probably not going to eat it. In fact, I won't eat it. Someone writing a bad testimonial or putting a, ba a, a, a horrible comment on online about me is very much like receiving a cooked meal roast dinner covered in peanut butter where is the connection oh my neck about to hear some background sounds. Oh. Maybe I 
that's the secret is to hope this background sounds and that there is none instead of sitting here wishing that there won't be any and uh, often is often is so maybe yeah Feel like I need to put some kind of neck brace on. Oh. The strange thing about it is, I've woken up with a neck. Well, I wake up every day with a neck, but I, I wake. You know, sometimes I wake up with a bit of a neck strain, or maybe slept on it. People say that don't they? I slept on my neck. I just slept on it wrong. But you're not supposed to sleep on your neck, are you? You're supposed to sleep on your body. And then your head resting on a pillow or something. If you manage to actually sleep on your neck, that's a that's a yoga position that hasn't been invented. Hopefully it will reduce. Be a bit more comfortable. But I mean it started last night and I haven't even been to sleep. Mind you, I was watching The Walking Dead. Maybe that's what happened. It could be as simple as... I'm um, 47, and that's what happens. It could just be that. Just a little bit of aches and pains. Not really... It's not really a big deal, is it? kind of find it quite funny really in some ways there always seems to be something that's one part of my body that's a little bit out of sync possibly I really wake up and think right today is the day of the marathon I'm going to run that marathon. I'm going to fly to the moon. No, that's... I wonder what it would be like to be super positive all the time. And how do those people get friends? Legend always being, now I'm not talking about just, you know, happy, happy ish people. I'm talking about the go getters. The everything can, every, you can do anything. Or <laughs> Maybe I'm a little bit on the other side of things, a little bit more miserable sometimes. I am. Sometimes I'm not, nothing more than to roll up in front of the fire on the rug and just feel sorry for myself. Yep, I am a dog. Oh, actually, I am a dog. Like to metamorphosize into a job into a dog and just give myself a a nice wash. <laughs> so that's kind of I think that's it for today because
sitting in quite an unusual position. And there's no reason why I have to do this sitting in bed. I'll tell you what's strange. I spent years and years and years and years and years and years. I mean, I'm talking 28 years or whatever. When most of the time I'd be sitting up in bed. I don't mean the whole time, I mean, you know, when I was at home watching television because I'd be living in a small room that only had, was big enough for a single bed and maybe a wardrobe. There's no room for a chair or anything like that. So I used to sit up in bed. But now, the last few years, I've been sitting in chairs and sitting up in bed is actually not as comfortable as I remember it. So I hope that I've managed to bore you and I'm going to go and have some food but not peanut butter. So take care, my name is Jason. Newland website is jasonnewland.com please leave a testimonial yes thank you if you would that would be brilliant take care see you next time